Hi and welcome to Angling For You and Merry Christmas for 2020. Now it's been a bizarre one for everybody I'm sure. Um, lots of different situations for eating and meeting family but you know it is what it is and let's get rid of this horrid year and crack on to 2021. So today's video as I posted last year I'm going to start doing them every year um, we're all dying to know what each other have got for fishing and this is my things for this year's 2020 christmas fishing list i may have a new box coming and there's a little bit more on that later on but we're not going to give the goat away uh, there's no hints on social media yet and there's no hints out and about so i'm not going to share that uh, depending on which one i choose so what did i get this year so it's a lot of it is in fact all of it here is is predator based and um, so hear me out before you skip away and don't want to watch the rest of it because you think oh i'm not bothered about it it's pike and perch there's a lot of good stuff in here and not all of it is just for predator fishing it can be used for river fishing canal fishing all that kind of stuff so i'm going to have a quick go through the, the things that i've got and uh, share them with you so unfortunately the reel that's attached to this box is in the shed uh, and it's pitch black. So I'm gonna go through it anyway. Um, and when, when I do the next film, actually fishing with it, we'll go through it in more detail. It's an Abu Garcia um, Black Magic and it's a, a bait casting reel and it's a left-handed reel. So with bait casting, it's a little bit different uh, with how you hold the rods. Uh, the reel sits on top of the rod and there's like a trigger molded into the handle of the rod and that allows you to just press your thumb on the bail arm to release and use a trigger so you can use it in sort of a, a, a sort of striking action now i'm right-handed at casting so i get the left-handed wind reel if you were left-handed obviously you'd have a left-handed with a right-handed reel i've gone obviously for the left-handed one so it's a beautiful design black and alloy red absolutely stunning and and if you've been on social media you'll have seen that so i'm just going to put that away but we will go through it next time i get a video on it so i'm going to quickly shuffle through the plethora of bits that are here now um i've got some different types of jigging baits now these ones you would stick a, a hook a jig hook on it with um, a weight on it and hook them on and these are for sort of average size pike or really good stamp perch um, and I've got them in a couple of different varieties this one's obviously got a lot of sort of daisy kind of look to it with a, a little bit of shiny silver and this one's got a roachy rud kind of look to it and realistically I, the, the, they're already weighted about 30, 30 gram anyway so you only need like a 10 gram jig head to get that down so again with the lures um, my parents uh, just saw a little these are more for jack pike and small perch there's a variety of different types uh, on there i just forwarded them a bundle deal um, from a tackle shop on ebay and there's loads of different types tiger uh, tigers um, silver uh, fish imitations mini perch imitations that, that absolutely loads different colors they're all in their own individual little pouches with uh, a, a size four, I reckon. Or, yeah, about a size four treble, maybe a six treble to be fair. Uh, two sets on most of them. Uh, some have got single trebles, uh, and, and some uh, and majority of them have got little diving bills on them, and that just gives them a little shake in the water. And like I said, there's just an absolute plethora of colours. There's probably around 20, 25 there. So we're just going to shuffle those out and get onto the the main presents. Now, these three are the main things. Now, the, 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 one, the gloves which I'm going to go on to first, they could be any type of winter fishing, which would be absolutely fantastic. Um, and then the bag will go on to, and, and the landing net handle. But these ones, these are the Fox Rage Predator gloves. Now, the reason that they're, they're classed as Predator gloves, they've got obviously the grip on the inside and they're quite lightweight and very durable. Now, for me, that they're a little bit like a dirt bike. Now, obviously, Fox make dirt bike stuff as well. Um, but for me, it's the grip. When you're fishing on the lures all day, your hands get freezing. 
and these gloves are, are, have got a breathable fabric on but they're, they're, they're not going to keep you absolutely unbelievably warm but they're going to certainly be warm enough to be casting all day and also even if you want to to pick a pie a pike up you could use these gloves obviously to gill them out and and pick them up so without actually taking the gloves off if you didn't want to when you went to changing lure you're gonna to have to take them off because obviously it's a glove but you can see the really nice design um really nice and sleek fit snug to your hands and um, these are a medium size because i'm one of those wide hand short fingers and um, so a medium fits tight but just just perfect and i've got nice stretch in it and and, and these really are when you put your hands together and try and make friction they are really good grip and um, which is what i wanted for out when i'm walking so yeah although the based as a predator sort of glove any winter fishing if you're fishing on pole uh, as long as you don't have to take it off naturally you're gonna have to take it off to to um put your bait on and same with your feeder but realistically if you've got a maggot feeder you're able to unclip that and put some maggots in or you put a cage in um, it'd just probably be up baits that you'd have to do unless you've got a bigger up bait but you could sit with your feeder and then pick your feet you know they'd be great for that so all around winter fishing for me uh, they're great because they're not clunky and cumbersome they're just nice and sort of durable and lightweight so nice strap as well so you can tighten them up to whatever tightness you want so they're really good uh, find the tag to get them off we'll go on to the landing net handle last because this is my new rambling bag now again some of you you might not be too fussed um but for me this will cover if, if you if i just want to take a waggle rod um and i wanted to trot that down if i want to just take um a bomb rod with, with a light bomb on or exploratory rod to try and catch some chub or you know some big perch and ledger a worm or a thing like that so it's not just necessarily just taking a, um, a lure and a jig you could you could equally fish it with a, a little feeder or something like that and just take it with you with your bits in on your back and realistically that's what i wanted it for i had a i've got a green um one that i carry now but it goes over my shoulder and after a while when you've walked two three four miles it starts to dig into your shoulder a little bit um i wanted the backpack where it's just ultimately adjustable it's got a connecting a connecting piece that can go across the front of you and you can you know it's not going to fall off if you slide and fall over or whatever it's attached to you at all times and it's a really good bit of kit i can't remember the make of it for life of me it it's not it's not a, na a named make it's one i got off uh, ebay if you just search for um predator rucksack you know something like this will come up um, and i think they're about around 40 quid um but they're really good because i'll show you the, the features so obviously really durable high quality grips and got the, the it's rubber rise netting as well that are in there so if you put anything that's got trebles in or something like that you're not going to be hooked into your bag um but if you want to put your drinks in they've got obviously got uh, pocket, uh, more rubberized pockets here but if like you say if you wanted your flask um or your drink you put it in there um it's got a, like a neoprene um so it, it won't get soaked it's got a pull drawstring here so you can hold it tight so it's not going to fall off all the time um, and then on the other side it's got two other decent sized pockets again if you want to put your car keys in it um, and it's du double lined and, and it's got a hard case behind it uh, and same again on the bottom a deep pocket rubberized you want to put your wallet your car keys anything like that on the back it's got sort of a ventilated bit it's soft padded but it's also ventilated so it's not going to sweat on your back uh, which is really good and then onto the front you got your normal handle so when you're lifting it in and out the the car nice and simple you got your central opening here so anything that you need to immediately get um if you want to put you know packs of hooks or you, you know spare wire tracers whatever you want um your shot for example and then another zip here to put any bits at the front like for me that'll be my forceps things like that and before i go into the main compartment there's the top bit again if this is in inside a plastic so if you do want to put something maybe your car keys that you don't or your phone that you don't want to get wet you can put it in there and also it's got a cover that literally goes over the front of the bag and pulls down tight so then 
gonna, if, if it does chuck it, chuck it down or in, everything's not gonna get soaked. And inside there, you can see, there's a fairly decent um, area. And then if you want to put anything like your lunch or, uh, you know, some cans of pop or generalized bits that you wanna carry, you might have some bait tubs or some other sort of tubs that you wanna carry in there, that's no problem. But the main feature, what I really liked about it, all that is great, that's perfect. But the main feature for me was this. So you open the front, it's got a retaining strap and then in the front is the four tubs. And for me, this is invaluable. So you, you obviously we've got all these different lures and the, the boxes are just normal standard snap boxes. You can pull all the individual great uh, channels out so you can make it whatever size you want, which is, is perfect because if you want to put floats in there, if you want to put traces in there, if you want to put line, um, any, any, any shot, if, you, if you're doing that feeders, whatever you want, you can take them all out. Um, and these two are fixed, but the main, the main inserts and, uh, and not and, and you know they're easy if, if you wanted to probably pick some up similar containers you could do and interchange that interchange them there's four of those they go in really easy and they do form the structure of the box uh, which is important obviously getting them in you'd normally take them out one at a time stick the top one in there here we go and then you've got those flaps that you can put on and that retains whatever you've got in it and there's still to be honest there's still a little bit of fascia space here if you if you had a, if you even had another one to fit against flat you could probably do that so that's the main present um that's something that i've just been doing the river fishing this year and, and the canal and the rambling and moving around i found necessary i've got my stationary one from midi the eva box if i'm going for an overnighter and we're setting space for barbel. Uh, it's completely waterproof, fantastic bit of kit, holds everything I need, buy alarms, all that kind of stuff. If we're stationary, then that's what I'll use. Um, and then obviously I use my green one to go up and down with, this is gonna be miles better for me. Uh, it's just a, a miles better piece of kit uh, for, the, for the use of it. And again, it, on the bottom, it's got a couple of high durable padding. So if you are putting it down on rocky bits or mud, it's not gonna tear, tear the bottom of the bag. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. I'm gonna stick that out of the way and move on to the beast Which is my savage net and it is a savage. So what I've found quite apparently Is that a lot of my nets are not really big enough for pike But the main reason is that if they roll over they get snagged in the netting and it rolls and It can be an absolute pig especially if you've got barbs on um, so what I wanted is a net that's really durable, but a rubber based net so it was easy to get the hooks out. So this one, as you can see, is a fully collapsible net. It's really heavy duty um, and it, effectively it's a fold out net like so. So you fold it out and then you pull the main pole towards you and there's two stoppers. So that's one. You could have it at that if you wanted it. You could press it again and just pull it down one extra and push them in so and that's its full sort of s small extension I would say so I don't know how much we're going to be able to extend it in here but we've got obviously that's its smallest there's a lovely and it's all nice alloy it's really feels really nice but there's a twist here and you can pull out another sort of 50 centimeters and it makes it for around the two meter mark uh, which is really not bad to be honest and, and most of the time with piking that's all you really need unless you're on a high bank and then you, it is what it is but it's meant to be a rambling and walking net so you know but it feels so strong you know once you tighten that up it's got the nice grooves on it so it does grip down onto it really well when you tighten it it just feels solid you know a real solid piece of kit and like i say just a little opposite turn you can slide that handle in nice rubberized handle and again Moving it down, it's just a case of pushing those two buttons in and sliding it in right up to the top. And then on the other side, the, this is where it hinges and you can just grab both the sides like so and just fold that 
down for when you're walking and that can just sit in there you can just have that in your hand it, it doesn't weigh too much um, but it's real solid stuff and you can I can just walk with that down a banking or even just on the handle here or, or over my shoulder if I want to while I'm walking with my rod in the other hand back backpack on back and uh, ready to go um, what I have seen though in a lot of videos is people get to us and they start fishing and they never set them up um, and I've seen loads of people struggling when they've got a fish on to try and because they are they're not fiddly but when you if you've got a fish on you need really two hands to to unfold it you can do it with your foot and it's just a bar like um, I would say for me I, I, it takes two seconds to just open it and get it ready just in case even if you don't fully extend but you open the the main frame and just have the, the first part of the bar out makes sense to have that ready to go and then if you do walk a fish you've got it if not you just fold it and push on and carry on especially if you're going to do a little stint and you're not going to walk for miles you could have it made up open walk your sort of mile and if you've got a, then a bit of a walk to your next swims fold it and then carry it just my opinion but um yeah so that's what i've got this year like i said i have got a box coming i'm not entirely sure when that's gonna be um potentially january um maybe a bit early who knows who knows uh depends how, how long it takes my box to sell um to, to be honest so if you are interested and it may have gone back time this video goes off if not then you know where i am just put a comment in the below um it was 500 brand new as you've seen on the videos and as a the tray, hooded tray which was 120 um uh, when i got it new so i've had it five months so 650 quids worth um i'm gonna sell for 450 so if anybody's interested that's for the box and the hooded side tray so if anybody's interested in that just just hit me up it may not be there when we, we have a look but who knows and yeah you know me I, I sell it on i want to keep bringing fresh new things to the channel and showing people the different bits and bobs um and just a big thank you again for we've got a on new year's day a roundup of the year for, for myself and matt and um, just a little bit of la around what we've done this year and what we've got coming um, and obviously just a run through of some great moments uh, video wise to to, sh to reflect effectively um, but thank you very much for watching uh, hopefully you'll uh, let me know in the comments what you guys have got for for your Christmas presents I'm sure there's gonna be lots of fun fishing um, bits and bobs I, I will be trying to get out as doing as many videos as I can it all depends on what lockdown does I've got a, a big job opening in, in January um, so that will take me out a bit but we have got the the videos to cover that time but um yeah keep the support going and thank you very much for watching guys uh, if you want to have a look at any of the other videos check out all those different playlists we've got fantastic playlists of all different types thank you very much for watching enjoy the rest of your christmas and your boxing day thanks a lot tight line